Hi and welcome to this video tutorial which will show you how to use graphical filters to enhance an image to make it more effective for purpose. Now what I've got here is I've got two images. I've got uh, a background uh, like a desert road and I've got uh, an Aston Martin and you can see I've actually cut that out from another image so, it, so there's some transparency. What I want to do is I want to put the car on top of the road so it looks like I've actually got um, a speeding car so if I was doing something like a Top Gear style magazine I want to create the impression that the car is fast so if I go back to here what I've actually done is I've put it on already and I've just hidden the layer and that's what I've got so it looks okay I mean it looks like I've got my Aston on my road but you haven't really got any sensation of movement or speed there um, so it doesn't really kind of create the effect that we're looking for so what I'm going to do is apply some blur filters to that and and actually change it up a bit so blurring you can do in, in, in a couple of ways you've got the blur tool here which is useful if you want to blur part of an image not all of it but just part of it um, but what I really need to do is blur the whole of the background I want the whole of the background to be seem to be speeding past as the car moves along it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the car layer there so all we've got to worry about is the background I'm going to select my image like that and I've got the filter tools now over here what you should see in the properties bar is that the filters uh, option comes up so I'm going to add a live filter click on that and what I can do is I can add blur from the menu that's there so I'm going to go to blur and you'll see that there are a number of different types of blur and uh, what I suggest you do is when you're trying this out just experiment and see the differences between them but the one that I want okay so we're going to apply motion blur and um, looks like I've already I've just um, applied that but what we need to do we, we, we can set the extent of our blur so I've got two settings on motion blur. I've got the angle and the distance now we'll look at angle first angle if you if you want something to be moving you want to create a sensation of the direction in which it's moving so if I click uh, angle I get a little spinner here and I can have it so that it seems to be moving for instance in this direction and it doesn't look like much is happening in the moment but if I click OK and then I can change the distance and the distance is kind of how much of the blur you see and you can see as I adjust this slider far greater extent of blur is happening and it does look well it kind of looks like you're moving through that landscape at speed so if I click OK and again with these values just just experiment see what looks best click OK and then what I can do is I can switch my car back on and that I think looks a lot better and you actually does create it's not perfect but it does create the illusion that the car is is moving now so you could apply blur to all sorts of different situations if you're doing a movie magazine for instance if you wanted to have a superhero a superhero kind of in flight would look good with some blur added if you did a football magazine or football being kicked would if you could add blur to the foot motion blur to the football so that it would seem to be be kicked harder and faster so you might want to consider using the, the blur tool or some of the uh, other filters as well so again with a lot of things in fireworks just experiment and see how you get on 